Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Lloyd Frank Wilkes, and today we're going to be talking about this made-for-TV 2013 film, Scarecrow. Uh, a little run of the film is that you've got a guy named Aaron. Now, Aaron is a high school teacher who has to take these group of kids to kind of pay their debt to society. Um, they're all in um, detention, and so they have to go to this farm and kind of clean it up. And then there's this Scarecrow Festival going on in town, and <clears throat> they need to remove this scarecrow from the farm and take it to a different location in the middle of town so all these kids are in trouble well a girl that used to own the farm and dates aaron shows up and she owns the farm and she's she's gonna sell it now <clears throat> there's another guy named e, uh there's another guy i can't remember his name uh but he's another guy in in this group and he's like like the love it's like a love triangle sort of thing that was going on i'm not really sure it wasn't really explained it seemed like it though anyway the all of them decide to go to the go to the corn, get the scarecrow, and and get out of there. Absolutely, almost when they get to the farm, that's when shit starts going crazy. There is this scarecrow, and the scarecrow comes out of the ground and just starts mangling these kids and mangling everybody. And it turns out that there's this old family curse on her farm, and her grandfather uh, supposedly buried it. So uh, it's 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 as crazy you know it, it, what i you know what i thought really realistically what i thought is i thought that <clears throat> the kill scenes were awesome the cinematography they had in it was really good <clears throat> excuse me um they had a lot of up angle shots from the barn the sets were cool it was shot on this uh, a barn it was shot in some woods it was shot on another farm it was shot it was shot on a lot of really cool locations you know the old house uh, i like the di- i like the characters I, I thought the, all, all the characters were great. The one complaint I do have about it is that the Scarecrow is CGI'd, and I think he looks stupid. And I think that this movie would have killed it if they had a guy in a costume. Um, now, the premise of it is, it is it low budget? It is, of course it's low budget. And if you're in the mood for a silly creature feature film, this is really good. Um, I just I just feel like if they would have used a real actor instead of the CGI, I think that it would, still would have hit, and it might have hit even harder Um because it was just it was so it was really good you know it wasn't it wasn't terrible it's just that ruined it so i mean that's all i really necessarily can i have to have to say i i i should say i strongly suggested i mean i'm not saying that it's terrible uh i check it out for yourself it's streaming on tubi if you're new to the channel please like comment and subscribe we are up to 265 subscribers so thank you guys so much my new subscribers welcome uh if you're new we're trying to get to 300 we're gonna have a little giveaway when we get there um <clears throat> if you're new please like comment subscribe and uh, tell your friends tell your mom stay horror check out scarecrow and uh, we'll see you next time later days i guess you couldn't hack it out here Mind if I carve up your face a little bit?